Hi, <clears throat> this is Rob Yates, and welcome to day two of section 4.1, consumer credit, spe uh, spe specifically credit cards. A little FYI here in our opening page, the European Parliament's Civil Liberties Committee on December 12th, 2017, approved new measures to step up the fight against money laundering and to narrow the scope of organized crime. The aim is to step up cooperation between member states as the lack of uniform definitions and penalties currently allows criminals to exploit these differences and commit crimes where penalties are lowest. The European bank HSBC agreed in 2012 to pay $1.9 billion to settle a U.S. money laundering probe. As a result, HSBC avoided a legal battle that would further salvage, savage rather, its reputation and could possibly undermine its confidence in the... Um, under my comments in the global banking system. Uh, money laundering is where people who get their money through illegal means, whatever that is, uh, gun sales, uh, organized crime, etc., go through the steps necessary to, quote, clean their money, unquote, so that it is um, not considered ill-gotten gains by the uh, authorities. HSBC stands for Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation. Let's take a look at our uh, last notes page. That would be for one day one. Uh, and put a question in the left-hand column. How do I determine finance charge? The, it's pretty easy, really. You just subtract the purchase price from the total cost that you paid out. So you take your down payment all your monthly payments, add them together, and then subtract what the original cost was. And whatever's left over, that is your uh, finance charge. I'll give you a moment to do that, and then we'll proceed. Remember, you can stop this video at any time, and uh, then restart it when you're ready to proceed. Please title your next notes, page 41, Introduction to Consumer Credit, Day 2. Our learning target is the same as it was earlier this week. I will become familiar with the basic vocabulary of credit terms and types of lending institutions. I will compute finance charges. Here is a uh, blurb on credit uh, that is really necessary for us prior to example four, but I'm going to go ahead and read it to you now. Uh, credit scores ch change as new data about a person's credit become available. FICO scores higher than 700 signify a good credit rating, and those above 770 are considered excellent. Any person with a credit score below 600 is considered a significant risk to a creditor, and individuals who scores w with scores at 700 or greater qualify for the best interest rates available. Here's example three, which is on our page 176. It says Carpet King is trying to increase sales, and it has instituted a new promotion. All purchases can be paid on the installment plan with no interest, as long as the total is paid in full within six months. There's a $20 minimum monthly payment required. If the Schuster family buys carpeting for $2,134 and makes only the minimum payment for the first five months, how much will they have to pay in the sixth month? Well, as you can uh, imagine, that $20 times 5 is 100 so we are going to take our amount, 2134 and we're going to subtract $100. And what's left over, that's what the Schuster family is going to have to pay, $2,034. Get that down in your notes, and we will proceed. Remember, you can stop this video at any time, and then hit restart when you would like. Here's the credit scores blurb again. Uh, certainly, if you weren't paying attention the first time, you could read it now. Here's example four. It says, Mike has a credit rating of 720, and Tyler has a credit rating of 560. Mike and Tyler apply for identical loans from Park Bank. Mike is approved for a loan at 5.2% interest, and Tyler is approved at a loan that charged three percentage points higher because of his inferior credit. What's the interest rate that Tyler is paying? Well, we got 5.2 and we add three, it becomes 8.2%. Simple math, but it is there to illustrate the fact that poor credit ratings will cost you money. For instance, if um, 
you paid back a $3,000 loan over five years, excuse me, over three years, uh, you would actually pay almost $300 more in interest at 8.2% than you would at 5.2%. The amount of interest paid for three years at $3,000 is $468, and the amount of interest you would pay at 8.2% would be $738. So, it costs you money when you have a poor credit rating. Get that down, we'll go to the next slide. Remember, you can pause this at any time and then restart when you're ready to proceed. Please go over your notes, underline what's important, and then circle your 10. Here is our assignment for today. It's actually assignment number 18. It's on pages 179 and 180. Application problems 10, 12, 13, and 15 through 17. Just go to our canvas and click on assignment number 18, and you'll be right where you need to be. Thanks again for watching. Remember, you can always contact me via email or my Microsoft Teams.